Regina Powell Hapis um, coming to you tonight because I had a couple of thoughts in my mind. You know, COVID-19 is, is really we can have like, and you know, we have lots of parents who are contemplating sending their kids to school or not go going to school. They're going to do homeschooling and, you know, there's a lot of uh, negativity around what's going on with COVID-19 and, you know, and there's a lot of, it's, it's a hard decision. And, you know, everybody has the right to make their own decisions. You know, nobody's decision is better than the others or anything else. You know, the administrators of the schools, are, they're doing the best that they can. You know, and they're really trying to do the best that they can for the children. And, you know, we have the educators in the school, you know, and teachers, EAs, and education workers, and, you know, everybody else. You know, everybody's got anxiety. Everybody has feelings and emotions around this, you know, what is emotionally driven conversation for everybody and you know just take a step back you know take a deep breath and you know really inform yourself of what's going to happen in the schools when the kids go back to school you know you know you, you know you can't control what's going to happen with other people's children and where they've come from or where they're going so on and so forth you know and just really take time to ponder that you know oh uh, there's a lot of it police brutality in 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 both countries like all over the world like police brutality has been wreaking havoc all over the media it's just been a horrible you know it's been horrible to be a witness to all of this you know through the media and you know and people are like you know why you know black lives matter and whatever else you know it's because it's getting filmed now you know and it's getting out there because of the internet and you know, it's fast streamed on the media where the government isn't controlling that anymore. That's why it's so abrasive and in your face now. It's in your face now because it's available to you immediately. And uh, people just making poor decisions, like they're 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 behaving badly because you know, in the big in the beginning of the pandemic. You know, people were like being helpful and kind and considerate and trying to think of what's best for the other person and you know what trying you know the real gratefulness that you know the urgency and the will to live you know everybody was like oh my god I, I could die so like I just really want to tell you that I love you you know and that feeling has gone off it's it's worn out a little bit and now people are just downright being abrasive you know and you know, just do one act of kindness. Just, uh, if you have an opinion about something, just don't share it and just don't share it in front of your kids, you know, because your kids are listening. Your kids are learning from you. You're the ultimate role model, you know, and, you know, there, it, it leads to institutional racism, you know, DFO making some pretty crappy calls this year with indigenous sovereign rights you know like there's been a long-standing history that has been bursting at the seams to come undone and it's coming undone and it's all over the media because it's fast stream in your face all over the place and it leads to racism you know all over the place people just having the the will to put that spew out there all over the place and it's just it's it's nasty and you know and it kind of leads me to <clears throat> death and COVID-19 you know it's just been it's really really hard it's been really hard to watch people going through a lot of death you know drug overdoses and you know our own sovereign rights to procedures and protocols that we used to do for thousands of years you know these decisions that we used to make were based on <clears throat> a thousand years thousands of years of observations you know our people you know monitored these things and they made these decisions based on the way that things used to be before you know we have to adapt to survive you know these this is the situation so Make sure your children are not overlooked. Please take time to think about what your decisions, how it's going to impact your home. Uh, 
you know, you're make, you know, making a decision for yourself, you're making it for your children, you're making it for your household. So your exposure, wash your hands, and the whole shindig, I know you guys have heard it a thousand times, so I wanted to make this post tonight because I feel like I want to do a free jaw tomorrow. Uh, I have a really nice matte black wolf painting that I had done with a little bit of smoke and a little bit of gold uh, painted on it and it, it's a really quite amazing piece of a quiet Zeke of wolf and uh, you know coming out over dark times you know we're coming out of the pandemic and you know we're not even out of it I think we have like another year ahead of us so I just wanted to do this free draw because I feel like you know, I'd like to see a little bit of positivity. I'd like you to, you know, send me the names of somebody. You know, I'll make this post tomorrow. I'll post up a picture of the draw, the free draw. And then I want you to nominate somebody. Somebody who's made a difference in your life. You know, whether or not it's been one of your children, one of your aunts or your uncles or your grandparents or one of your best friends or somebody just genuinely in the community, principal, somebody, anybody. And I want you to think about these people and I want you to nominate them. And I, you can nominate more than one person, I don't care. But you have to tell me why you're nominating them and the, the reason why you're nominating them is so... I just want to do a little bit of love and light tomorrow to start the day off in a good way. Sure.